Wild news out of Connecticut there, thankfully. Crazy. You know, they're not hurt. Back here at no. home, we're dealing with some mildly wild weather. I don't want to yeah. say it's too crazy, but it's rainy and it hasn't stopped. Yeah, you know, it really, it started to pick up kind of last night mm -hmm. and now it's really kind of uh, just reaching the peak here this morning and it's going to stay steady throughout the rest yeah. of the afternoon, unfortunately, Jan. So not the way we really would like to wrap up our weekend with a soggy Sunday with dreary conditions and cool temperatures, but that is what we have. We're also dealing with the tropics, of course. There's multiple systems out there. We'll talk about what's furthest away and then we'll work our way back closer to the East Coast. So our tropical satellite this morning, Tropical Storm Helene, just off of the coast of Africa. This one is, is forecasted to uh, make its way westward and it's going to move into an area of a little bit more favorable development. So we could actually have Hurricane Helene before really the uh, middle of this coming work week. So that's system number one. Just to the west of that is system number two. This is Tropical Storm Isaac also tracking to the west and also moving into an area of favorable development with warm water temperatures, low wind shear, and this is going to most likely become Hurricane Isaac again within the next couple of days early this week. So we could be looking at dueling hurricanes in the eastern Atlantic Ocean. And then we also, of course, all eyes right now, the main player for us currently, this is Tropical Storm Florence. It was a hurricane. It then got downgraded to a tropical storm. This is going to continue again to track to the west and then the northwest bringing it just south of Bermuda and this even by as early as maybe tomorrow morning or even as early as this afternoon, depending on how things play out, could be back to Hurricane Florence before it moves closer and closer to the East Coast. So here are the stats on Florence currently. It sits at 70 mile an hour winds west at only six miles an hour, so it's moving very, very slow. And as we put our track on this again, it stays south of Bermuda, but you can see even by Tuesday early morning hours, we're already back to category three status, which makes it a major hurricane by as early as two o'clock in the morning on Tuesday, 125 mile an hour winds there strengthening the National Hurricane Center has it strengthening to a category four storm as it moves even closer to the eastern seaboard. Some of this water out here in the western Atlantic 84 to 86 degrees, so lots of really warm water. The upper level winds are very, very light, so it's again an area of favorable development, possibly even as high as 140 mile an hour winds, 145 mile an hour winds by Wednesday morning, and as it gets closer and closer to the east coast looking for the potential of some direct impacts anywhere right now. Our cone ranges all the way from the southern Delmarva Peninsula to the Charleston, South Carolina area. So even though we could see some direct impacts later in the week, still a wide range of where those impacts are going to be. So we're going to continue to monitor Florence. Storm scan three remnants of tropical storm Gordon out to our west. Lots of heavy rain, though, pushing in to the Philadelphia area now, especially areas north of the city through the Poconos. Pockets of more moderate to heavy rain along uh, I-80. It's now sliding a little bit south of that along the uh, northeast extension around Lehigh and then also towards Jim Thorpe and also southern Chester County and towards southern parts of Lancaster County. Again, getting in on some of that heavy rain. Overall, we're looking for widespread swath of about one to three inches. Maybe some areas pocketed within there could be even more than that before this is all said and done. So a flat watch is in effect everywhere shaded in green, pretty much the entire area until six o'clock in the morning on Tuesday. 64 today, 78 tomorrow with more shower chances. And then Jan, we are unsettled, but warmer Tuesday, Wednesday into the end of next week. So unfortunately, no rest for the weary for us here across the Philly area. All right, Matt, if you say so. So.